This episode is made possible by Partisan. So as I was buying groceries and as I passed by the drink section, I stumbled upon a familiar brand of bottled water. And the only thing I know about this brand is that it's known for its price. Comparing it to other brands, the 500ml bottle costs 50 pesos whereas the others cost around 10 to 15 pesos. And that is a big gap. I'm talking about Evian water. So it made me think, this perception is based only on the little that I know about Evian. Surely, Evian is more than just a status symbol brand for the rich. So in this episode, let's dig into the brand origin story of Evian Water. Evian Water is a brand of mineral water coming from several sources near the Evian Le Bain, France, on the south shore of Lake Geneva. It all started in 1789 during the French Revolution period. Before the French Revolution, this place was still relatively unknown. During a walk, the Count Jean-Charles de Lazier, an aristocrat, drank from a local spring. The spring was on the land owned by Monsieur Cachat. Apparently, the nobleman was suffering from kidney and liver problems, which during those days could not be treated. When he tasted the water from the spring, he absolutely loved the light and easily drinkable taste of the water and decided to regularly drink from that spring. He kept coming back to the springs to drink water and after two months, the kidney and liver problems he was suffering from for years now, it was cured. And so, ecstatic about what the water was able to do, he then started spreading good word about the spring, telling his doctor about the healing effects of the water from the springs of Evian. The doctor in turn started prescribing Evian water to his patients. And gradually, the town started attracting more people. Around 1807 to 1808, a scientist was inspired to take a look at the Evian Springs and analyze whether it can become a spot town. Spot towns were particularly gaining in popularity during that period. A spot town is basically a city with a spa, and a spa is any place that has a natural water source and is believed to possess special health-giving properties. Spot towns have existed way before, even since the Roman times, but it once again started gaining popularity during the French Revolution because of the development of roads making transportation much easier. Think of spot towns as the modern-day luxury resorts since normally only the elites and the upper class are able to visit these spot towns. And so people started going to the spring that was gaining popularity. And since this was on the land of Monsieur Casha, seeing the business opportunity, he turned it into a business. He fenced off the spring and began selling bottles of this special spring water to the market. In 1823, M. Fouconet, a Genevan entrepreneur, launched the Evian Mineral Water Company. He would then later on acquire the city's two main springs in 1827. Eventually, this company went bankrupt and the springs were acquired by the Hotel des Bains. 1826 marks when the bottling operations of Evian Water begins. In December of 1859, Parisian investors created an anonymous company called the Casha Mineral Waters SA, and eventually Evian would be acquired by Danone. Danone is a French multinational food products corporation and is one of those massive companies I've never heard of, but I learned that this company sold products in over 120 markets in 2018, with sales of up to 24 billion euros. And they've been around since 1919, which means it's on its 101st year. So yes, they are quite huge, and this is the company that currently owns Evian Water. Okay, so now that we know the history of Evian, let's get to the main question. Why is Evian water so expensive? Well, one is due to its claimed health benefits. I say claimed because it is not scientifically proven, nor is there any direct correlation between drinking Evian water and a healthier life. But let's investigate. Our first barometer for it being healthy is the pH level. The lower the pH level, the more acidic the water, the more chances of you getting yourself a handful of health problems. Evian has been tested to have an almost neutral pH level. Evian also has low levels of arsenic. In 2019, arsenic was found in specific bottled water brands in the US, and those were immediately pulled out. Reports say that a single glass of water with higher levels of arsenic wouldn't harm you, but taking this regularly over extended periods increases the risks of cardiovascular disease, can lower IQ scores in children, and can cause certain cancers. We can go all day talking about how healthy Evian is or how drinking Evian has changed your life, but I don't think it's safe to say that drinking Evian will heal whatever health problems you may have. But what is certain is that it 
definitely wouldn't harm you since it is as pure and mineral rich as water can get. When you buy Evian, you're basically buying peace of mind that this water you're drinking, it's not going to harm you. And there are actually claims by some people that they've been falling less sick after switching to Evian. Now, another reason why Evian is so expensive is the source and the process. A bit of a heads up though, Evian, along with the other premium bottled water brands, they love emphasizing the uniqueness of their water source. Evian proudly differentiates itself that its water is from the French Alps. Pellegrino from the Italian Alps, and Fiji Water proudly shares that its water is from the Artesian Aquifier in Fiji. This is a textbook move by the bottled water brands, and this is one of the reasons why these brands can demand high prices. It's due to scarcity. The fact that there is only one source for this specific water makes it special. It makes it seem like, sure, you can buy the other bottled water brands, but you're definitely not drinking water that came from the French Alps. In Evian's case, Evian water is filtered by the natural hydrogeological formations in the Gavo Plateau. Here's how it works. The Gavo Plateau is set at an elevation of 3,000 feet. It has wide open fields, trees, ponds, and a spectacular view. And this Gavo Plateau is the watershed of Evian water. By definition, a watershed is a set of streams that all funnel down into a single larger body of water. In this case, the Gavo Plateau is the main source or funnel for Evian water. You see, in the winter, a lot of snow is collected in this area, as well as a good 40 inches of rain annually. Every drop of moisture coming from the rain and from the snow, at least those that don't evaporate but settle into the ground, this moisture enters the natural filtration process that produces the mineral-rich Evian water. Experts claim that by the time the water comes out of the ground, ready to be bottled, it's already spent 15 years passing through the underground channels. From the moment the rain falls or the snow melts on the plateau and is absorbed, up until it emerges from the Kasha Spring, it is during this process when the water picks up trace elements of minerals like calcium and manganese. Of course, this entire process moves at a glacial pace, hence the 15-year travel time. The end product is the Evian water that we know today. If you're able to visit Evian France, you can actually just get Evian water for free. Locals and tourists alike have access to the source Kasha. It's basically a faucet that runs Evian water. People can basically just go there with their own bottles and drink anytime. Now, Evian is aware of its responsibility to take care of the environment, specifically since, well, the main raw material is water and is highly dependent on how the company makes its operation sustainable. For instance, it protects the Gavo Plateau. The Gavo Plateau is an extremely important area since it is the watershed which collects the water. Evian understands that it cannot risk having this area polluted. As I mentioned earlier, this is an elevated area with a beautiful view in a city that is known to attract tourists. So the potential of this place in becoming a central vacation spot with high-rise hotels and tourist districts, the potential is huge. But Evian took action to make sure that this doesn't happen. So here's what they did. Normally, when mineral water is extracted from a property, that company is required to pay the government or the local authority. Well, it makes sense, right? In Evian's case, they made a different arrangement. Evian made all parties have an interest in maintaining the water's pristine quality. And so, they've set up a company that underwrites the public-private partnership system. The company is called the Associate for the Protection of the Evian Mineral Water. The stakeholders include 13 municipalities and 1,200 inhabitants of the mountainside villages, not to mention those who live in the lakefront communities. And since a big group of people gain from the protection of Evian's watershed, it remains untouched and free from pollution. It really is a clever move to get everyone involved. Another initiative from Evian is their impact on farming in the region. We all know that raising livestock and cattle remains as the number one contributor of pollution, amounting to 18% of human-produced greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. And since pollution affects the water quality, instead of getting rid of farmers, Evian enables them to practice sustainable farming. Recently, Evian built a methanizer, a machine that converts animal waste into fertilizer. This machine generates power which then goes straight to their local grid. Another question you may be asking is whether Evian water will eventually run out. Currently, Evian is drawing off and pumping 8 million bottles of water every single day. But despite this big number, it only constitutes 5-10% to of the potential flow of the water source in the Gavo Plateau. 
the water that is left unbottled continues along its course which ends up in Lake Geneva. Surprisingly, at least for me, Evian is actually selling more water than they can bottle. The demand for bottled Evian water is rising. As the world continues to destroy the environment, sooner or later, our natural sources of water will gradually become undrinkable, and more and more people will look for safe-to-drink bottled water. And that's why Evian's market continues to grow. Despite all its efforts in becoming more sustainable, I'm sure you're still wondering, aren't plastic bottles bad for the planet? Since Evian's main packaging are plastic bottles, aren't they still ruining the planet by contributing to single-use plastics? Well, apparently, 25% of the plastic used to make bottles for Evian are recycled materials. This number will grow to 50% by 2020 and 100% as soon as 2025. Evian is also using a new package that does not need the plastic yoke that holds four packs of bottles together. They've also set up reverse vending machines that encourage the recycling of empty bottles. Danon, the parent company of Evian, has a subsidiary company that imports and distributes Evian water in the United States and in Canada. This subsidiary has achieved the B Corp certification, becoming a public benefit corporation. So what's the value of this B Corp certification? Let's just say that if you're B Corp certified, you're one of the good companies that are trying to make our world better. What's special about this is that Danon is on its way to becoming one of the first multinational food companies to become fully B Corp certified. To get this certification, a company must complete the rigorous B Impact Assessment and get a minimum score of 80 out of 200. The company is then required to have an improved score after 3 years. Danon Waters of America got an 81 in this assessment. So they're kind of a good company, right? Well, the thing is, guys, the bottled water industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. And where there is money, there is marketing. The companies behind these bottled water brands have god-tier marketing teams that are experts in manufacturer demand. And honestly, after reading about how clean Evian is and how it's from the purest sources, I feel like I'm convinced that the water that I've been drinking for the past 26 years, that it's dirty. That unless I'm drinking Evian, it's not safe. Now I'm not trying to say that if it can convince me, it can convince anyone. My point is that they are good at this. The story that Evian uses for marketing is that the water you are drinking, it's not safe. And going along with this problem is the solution, and that is Evian since it is from the purest sources of water in the French Alps. Also, despite Evian's efforts in using recycled plastics, well, it still doesn't fix the problem that the world faces today, that up to 80% of empty bottles end up in landfills. Sure, Evian has glass bottles, but most of their sales are still from the ones in plastic bottles because glass bottles are expensive. But here's what I like about Evian and Danon. At least they're making an effort. We know they're not really doing it because of their values and their morals. They're doing it because it will affect sales. Because the market is becoming increasingly aware of the long-term damaging impact of plastic bottles. And so in 2019, Evian announced that they will be launching an in-home water appliance in order to cut plastic use. It's called the Renew System, which is made up of a base dispenser and a 5-liter bubble. The skin of the bubble uses new technology which allows it to contract when the natural water is consumed. This bubble is manufactured from 100% recyclable plastic. So yeah, at least they are finding ways to cut plastic waste. In 2018, Danon reached sales of up to 4.5 billion euros and is the third largest bottled water company in the world. Right behind the Coca-Cola company and the largest of them all, Nestle Waters. Wrapping things up, Evian is a powerful brand, has a great story, and a good product. I honestly think you should go and get yourself a bottle of Evian from the supermarket. It's around 50 pesos for a 500ml bottle, and find out yourself if it's any different from the water you've been drinking ever since. I guess what makes me feel good about Evian is that at least they are striving to become a better company. I don't think they're doing it fast enough, but it's definitely a good start. And that's about it guys, now you know the brand origin story of Evian Water. And if you enjoy this show, it would mean a lot if you can tell your friends about brand origins. My name is Chris, I'll catch you again next time for another episode of Brand Origins.